Okay, so here we are. The diesel heater is circulating through the floor and coming back into the reservoir, down through a secondary pump, into the diesel heater, and then out into the floor, and then back. It's all wide open. The temperature currently is about 40 degrees Celsius. The temperature going down into the floor. The temperature coming back is about 20 degrees Celsius. And it has been on for, it's been on for four hours. I put it on at 9 a.m. and now it's uh, one. Okay, the temperature of the floor was 55 degrees at 9 a.m. Right there it's 59. Uh, right there it's 58. Right there it's 61. There it's 58. That's Fahrenheit. That's 57. 61 or 59. But now the heater is shutting down again. <laughs> it looks like it got up to almost 60 degrees coming out. Celsius, 60 degrees Celsius. It's still coming back. It's only showing 20 degrees coming back. So if it's 55 degrees Celsius, then it's 131 degrees going into the floor. And it's coming back at 68 degrees. That would kind of make sense. Since it's been on for four hours, and the floor is at 56, 57, the slab isn't evened out, but yeah. So it's it's warming up the cement that was at 55 degrees four hours ago, before I turned the heater on. So my real question is, why is it short cycling? I haven't changed anything. In the first day I used this heater, it stayed on hot, pump pushing hot water into the floor for a lot longer than it does right now. Now it only does it for a short period and then stops, and a short period, and then stops. And it never gets the floor nearly as hot as it did that first day. I have tried turning off the secondary recirculating pump, the red one there, and it doesn't really seem to make much difference.